Welcome everyone, this is Alex for the Coaster Spot, and we're going to do a full tour of Mount Olympus Water and Theme Park. If you want to skip around between the indoor-outdoor water parks and the amusement park, there are chapters on the player down below. And if there are any additional questions that you have that I didn't answer by the end of this video, put them down in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. So uh, let's go ahead and show you off the entirety of this Wisconsin Dells staple. The star attraction of the indoor water park is Medusa's slide wheel, which is America's first slide wheel. Uh, it's like a Ferris wheel, but on a slide, you enter in on that purple section and you keep getting dropped down. No huge drops, like you never drop like vertically, but you just like sectionally in. And whenever you, you're always basically at the bottom somewhere, and you always are going back and forth, and you can get quite crazy at moments. One of the best water slides I've ever been on. I highly recommend you come into Mount Olympus just for this thing. Uh, even if they start building them all over America, I'd say you'd always want to ride it right away. It is so unique and hopefully more parks are able to do that in the future. Also in here you have a small little wading pool with a couple of little slides and interactive elements. You also have this four foot deep pool Here's a look at the old indoor section. It's currently under renovations. Uh, it includes two body slides, or tube slides, I forget which one, a lazy river, some, uh, I believe a little small playground, water playground. Okay, now that we're out of the indoor water park, right outside of it, they have Mythos Bar and Grill. We'll show you a menu of another bar and grill later on that has the exact same menu. Before we get even further into the water park, this is the entrance and exit for the hotel guests only. So if you want to stay on site, admission is free, but rooms can be quite expensive. So uh, you got to weigh your options. Uh, you can get admission for about $25 online and parking is $25 if you don't stay on site. Over this way used to be an entire water park that they actually bought and combined with the rest of the park. We have the River Troy, which is a little lazy river here, and kind of a splash pad at the entrance of those giant geysers. Uh, you definitely will not stay dry on this lazy river, and uh, it is one of the fastest moving lazy rivers I've ever been in. It is absolutely ridiculous how fast it goes. They have a bunch of gift shops for water park needs, where you can get everything from uh, swimsuits to swim diapers, to anything that you might have forgot for your water park day, they have it just in case you forgot it. Water shoes, towels, and then Mount Olympus uh, memorabilia as well. And these cute little stuffed animals. And here's the first wave pool that we're gonna check out. Their normal wave pool that just does uh, normal, pretty tame waves. Uh, this is not the wave pool you want. You want the other wave pool, which we'll show you later. But for little kids, this is definitely the one you want to put them in. Right, getting out to the main water park, you got these two family raft rides. Just like Medusa slide wheel, you sit in the middle. One does a slow turn and then a triple dip, which looks like a lot of fun. And then the other one's just a bunch of... Uh, quick turns and you get really you catapulted really high onto the side walls and it's going to be the, the tamest of the three family raft rods that they have here. So here's the lost city of Atlantis. We, we found it. It includes the splash zone which has two little slides right there. You can see the green one and the yellow and orange one. Little kitty body slides. Oh and a little red one over there on the left as well. And then inside it has the body slide toilet bowl. Uh, it's okay. I like toilet bowls because they're fun go around and around. This one you get around once and then it exits through the middle of the spiral staircase. So definitely not as fun. And over here is Atlantis Marengo and Tube Slide. So uh, Tube Slide is pretty standard fun little uh, Tube Slide. It can run in pairs or alone in the back. But the Boomerango is a lot of fun. You go down this thing, then you go to a straight section, then you drop. And basically hit 90 degrees. It's a lot of fun. To the right of the Lost City of Atlantis is where you're going to actually find the entrance to the Triton Tower, which included the two family raft rides we already talked about and the Mat Racer that we will talk about now. Titan Challenge is a six lane, four dip Mat Racer. Here is Poseidon's Rage. 
which is very different from most wave pools. Most wave pools, it's a constant fury of waves, but this one, every two minutes, a giant wave comes and just crashes into everybody. And then, then you wait around for another one. They have a cool pool bar right there, but as we uh, keep going back in there, there's one last attraction for the water park. It's behind the Pegasus roller coaster, which fun fact, if you didn't know, when it was contracted to be built by CCI, the owner of this place, literally said, I want a rideable wall so it would block people's view from inside of the park to this go-kart track, because they, he didn't want people seeing this go-kart track across the uh, the way. So that's why this ride is so weird and tall and doesn't have a lot of deep dips. Anyways, so the last attraction you have in the water park is this wading pool here. Get a closer look at it. And this one's called the Great Pool of Delphi. As you see, lots of zero entry at the end. And have a couple of little slides. And over here you have Achilles, which has apparel and lockers, and then uh, Zorbra's Bar and Grill. I really like the different elements in this pool. It's very different from things I've seen. I like how it has a little island in the middle. Very different. Let's take a look at the menu. There are your drinks. And there's all your uh, hot dogs and burgers. No prices out on for the beer. All right, now that we've shown you everything that you can do in the water parks, uh, let's take a look at the outdoor amusement park followed by the indoor amusement park and uh, a little bit about the hotels at the end. So the main entrance is up at the top of the hill and you're gonna enter in right between a, a bunch of all the uh, wood coasters. The first coaster you're gonna see is the first coaster you're actually gonna get to as you walk down the path. It is Zeus. It was built in 1997 by Custom Coasters International. It has 2,900 feet of track. It is 90 feet tall with an 85 foot drop. Zeus is going to be the second tallest roller coaster here. And it takes you on a relatively simple layout out on back, alongside the parking lot, tucked into the woods slightly, and uh, lots of airtime hills. Uh, it's pretty smooth, a little rough on the turnaround, so hold on for that, but uh, a fun ride nonetheless. Unfortunately, all the coasters at Mount Olympus run one train, so it can take a while to get on to some of the attractions. So you might have to have your patience on. Before we get to the giant roller coaster, we have the first of many, many, many go-karts. This is the Underworld go-kart track. This one actually used to go underwater, right over there, I believe, or over there, somewhere over there somewhere. Uh, this is one of the more twisted courses. It's not pass over and under each other though. They're, all the go-karts are about the same speed. And the biggest, possibly the best, roller coaster in the park is Hades. Hades 360. Originally built in 2005. In 2013 it was modified out in the parking lot where uh, it got uh, an inversion. Yes, the wood coasters can go upside down. So the first thing you do is you do this giant drop right out of the station. Coaster is about 4,700 feet long. Has a total elevation drop from the lowest to the tallest point of about 160 feet. It has a height of 130 feet and a drop of 140 feet. And you're gonna drop into a very, very dark tunnel that's 800 feet long. You're actually gonna be flipped completely on your side at 90 degrees. You're gonna do some reverse banking bunny hills. Uh, and it is very, very loud in there. Uh, if you have small children who are very uh, sound sensitive, I this one is definitely not the one for them to ride. But other than that, uh, it is uh, quite the ride. It can be a little bit rough, but it is uh, better than it used to be. It's just very vibration-y. medium-sized one more or less, it's Cyclops. 
pretty short coaster. It's only 1,900 feet long. So if you want to graduate from Pegasus, which we'll show you in a moment, this is the one you want to go with. It does have one extreme moment if you're in the back seat. This drop here provides extreme airtime towards the back half of the train. It is quite crazy. But that's practically it. It's about a uh, 45 second ride, very short. Also left we have Delphus, funnel cakes and ice cream. Let's take a look at the uh, menu there. And the prices at Delphi, ice cream and funnel cakes. And you have the first of many uh, bars inside the New the Park itself. You get cocktails, daiquiris, margaritas, and beer. And very similar, I think, if not identical to what we saw in the water park. All right, off this way, we're gonna have what they call Kitty Land and the longest track. Trojan Horse Track is that track that you're gonna see as you enter into the main entrance and passing by. You're gonna see that giant wooden horse and the wooden structure that you seem like you should be going up, but unfortunately, many years ago, they bypassed it. So you do not get off the ground. You do not go right towards the belly of the uh, Trojan Horse. You just take the lower section, unfortunately. But it's a really cool visual to see the horse as you're uh, racing by it. It is a kitty balloon ride, which uh, kind of acts like a teacup ride as well. It lifts up and you see it has tilted. And uh, you can sit back and not do much, like that girl in the purple. Or you can be spinning a lot like that girl in the red and blue. So, there it is. And here are the kitty biplanes. Dumble like attraction where the kids can pull back on the stick to raise up the planes. And then the kitty swings, which lifts up and they're uh, kind of soaring through the sky there. A much tamer version of the uh, ride that we'll see in a moment. And then the final ride is the kitty train over here. Teeny tiny little train goes around a pretty simple oval, oval course. They get to go around multiple times. This is the park's smallest roller coaster, Pegasus. Uh, it's about 60 feet tall, 45 foot drop. And uh, yeah, it, it might look small, but actually jerks you around probably more than other ones, especially to the left and the right. Just be aware of that one. Uh, there it is, fun time for everybody. Same trains though as the other wood coasters, so I believe it has the same height requirement. Hades barbecue pit. I can't comment on any of the food. I haven't had any. I'm not going to. Uh, some of it smells really good, especially this one, since you have to smell it from the queue line of the peg. Also, we have the Turbo Track, Hermes Turbo Track, which I believe is what they advertise as the fastest running go karts. I've ridden them all, they all seem about the same. So I'm not sure about that, but uh, there it is. Pretty much more of the same flat track, it does not go up and down that much, some bent curves. Next up is one of two upcharge rides where you have to pay a little extra. It's Apollo Swing. Cost twelve dollars. Get into this four-person vehicle, and you have just a simple lap bar, and you're lifted up to about ninety degrees on a very large swing. Uh, very similar to Skyhawk at Cedar Point, but not nearly as good, unfortunately. And off to the left, and the outdoor theme park is the uh, final kid ride. A uh, little Titans, a little kitty coaster. Parents and coaster enthusiasts are strictly not allowed on this. Kids only, at least 40 inches tall and under 56 inches tall to ride this one. But uh, a couple of drops, the helix, and a few dips along the way. And next up is going to be the giant swing here, the Manicor, which is a uh, scarf flyer type of attraction. And a pretty tiny seat. 
held up by these tiny little chains and you're lifted up about 80 feet or so. You go up, you go back down, and you go up again for a little bit. Fantastic view of the entire park, highly suggested. Uh, the line might really look long because they don't have any switchbacks, but uh, it wrapped halfway around the entire ride for me and I only waited about 20 minutes, so not too bad. Here is to the left the Titan track, which uh, has a lot of bank turns and takes place mostly right underneath the Pegasus roller coaster, which is neat. You can get an airbrush tattoo if you want. Here's Sail Orion Intermediate Track. As you see, they're uh, quite slower than others. And meant for a little bit older kids that aren't quite ready for the bigger go-karts. And what's even cuter is the Tiny Heroes, who are little go-karts for little kids, very little kids. Let's take a look at them. There they go. Tiny little go kart track. They're doing pretty good. Some adults on the uh, adult ones uh, don't do much better. In addition to the two upcharge rods, there are also a couple of upper charge things, such as the climbing wall. It is $5 for one climb, and it is. Nine dollars for two coins, so save a few dollars. And they have some batting cages over here. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Get some batting practice on. Helos is probably the most fun go-kart track in the park, and our final one as well. It's this giant one. It has the wooden structure where you actually go up on the wooden structure. You got your helix up. And you gently start dropping down as you go. Very cool. It's probably one of the better tracks actually in the entire Wisconsin Dells area. And then our final attraction is going to be the Sky Coaster. It's to be about 100 feet tall. It's not open today, and I don't know if it's been open for a, quite a little bit. But uh, very cool. It swings right over the water. Let's take a look at the view you probably have as you're flying over this. So you'd be harnessed up in what would be like a hang glider harness, more or less. And you're lifted up to the back tower there on the left. You have to peel the ripcord. And you're flying right over everybody over here, which is so cool. All right, I believe that is gonna do it. Uh, we do have the shopping area that they, they call over here. Take a quick look at that. And there is an indoor area, but earlier it was closed. So I don't know if we're able to show it to you. A big fat Greek pizza joint. That's pretty fun. We're going to show you the prices because they're pretty consistent around the park and we've already shown you prices for that other place. And then we have an ice cream place over here. Ice cream and treat shop. There it is. Pretzels and nachos. The main gift shop is here. Along with the candy shop. And then Cafe Opa. And then the Greek Tycoon, Gyros, and ice cream. Finally, we have uh, another gift shop for all your water park needs. We went through it before, everything you need. So, finally, here's a look at one of the main, many hotels. Uh, this is the Rome Hotel, which is going to be their signature hotel. So it's going to cost you the most. Uh, basically, the owner of Mount Olympus wanted to take over Wisconsin Dells. And uh, I don't love what he did, but uh, he bought like, almost every motel in town. So stay at Mount Olympus, but you could be on the other side of the strip if you're in the most furthest buildings. And uh, check-in, I don't believe, is even in here anymore. It's down the street a little bit. And I'm not sure if you're staying in this hotel, this the Rome, if you can check in here or not. I believe you probably can. Uh, comment down below. But that's Mount Olympus. Uh, it's an interesting place in the Wisconsin Dells, which is also an interesting place. But uh, if you want to see more videos from around Wisconsin Dells, hit that bell for instant notifications for when videos come out. Subscribe, like, and comment down below. Alright, that is it from Mount Olympus. The uh, indoor music park is closed. 
It's not very good. There's just a couple of kitty rides. Uh, Mount Olympus. I can't recommend the place. And I don't say that about a lot of places. Uh, I don't think it's overpriced. I just don't think it's a great experience. Uh, there's a few sketchy things as far as safety goes that uh, I'm not going to go over, but there's some things. There's some things, definitely. So <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, thanks for watching. This has been Alex. Comment down below if, if there are any questions you need answered, and I'll do my best to answer them.